All right, I am going to pin my video. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Um, we're gonna do some kind of warming up with our body, with our breath, and then we will kind of dive into some different movements to get a quick total body workout here at lunchtime. So we're gonna start with our feet just a little bit wider than hip distance. We're gonna inhale up and press out any of the stress that you might have. Inhaling it one more time and pressing out any of that. And then one more, third breath in. Last one. And we're gonna take ourselves into a warrior two position. So we're gonna move one foot. And so the heel lines up with the inside of this other foot facing forward. And we're going to bend into this knee with that foot facing to the side. So this is going to be our warrior two pose. We're reaching our arms across, we're brightening our chest and our hips are pointing forward. We're gonna to lean towards that bent knee and take a side body lean. So we're gonna go up two, three, four, and then straighten both legs into a reverse warrior, reaching up and over the other direction again. Down, two, three, four, reaching up, two, three, Four, one more on the side, two, three, and four, lifting up, two, three, four, and we're gonna reach into that warrior two pose one more time, feeling the power and strength in our stillness, relaxing our shoulders and engaging our core, and then four, three, two, going forward. Before we go to the other side, we're just gonna take a lean, so we're gonna put our hands on our hips, reach forward and just kind of bend it in half. You don't have to go all the way down if this bothers your back. But just getting a nice stretch here in the back and stretching out our legs. Taking a breath in here. Exhale. And then we're gonna turn this foot, this opposite foot. So the heel's gonna line up with the middle of the other foot going straight. We're gonna turn our hips forward. Reach our arms strong. Hold this warrior two pose for just a moment. Breathe, smile, feel relaxed in your body, taking that break from all this thing, all the things going on in the world and our work day. And then we're gonna lean up, two, three, four, reverse, and straighten that leg, doing that gentle back bend. You might feel your back crack in this pose. It's hopefully just giving you a nice stretch and not going to harm your back. One more on this side, two, three, four, reaching up two, three, four, and then we're gonna hold that pose one more time, relaxing your shoulders, arms straight across from that T, hips forward, and release. We're gonna just walk our feet just a little bit less wide, so we're wider than hip width. We're gonna do some squats here to start, so we're taking our hands to prayer, we're reaching our seat down and back, and just gliding down and back, bending those knees so they don't track past our second toe. We're warming our legs and we're warming our glutes. Meanwhile, we're keeping our shoulders relaxed. I always say your shoulders creep up into our ears. We want to take them out of our ears and we want to bring our belly button close to our spine so we can keep that core active and warm during this whole workout. So as we squat, we're just starting here simply moving our seat down. You can hinge more for your back if that's better or you can go more straight if that's better and widen your knees. So there's a lot of options. We're gonna add in some arms. So the first thing we're gonna do is reach for something on the ground and place it on a shelf. So we're reaching and picking something up and putting it across that shoulder height. Reach down and pull. If this is bothering you, you can stay with hands on hips or you can just reach forward and in at the shoulder height. It's whatever you need today for your body to feel good. It's down and left, lower, lift. Now we have an option and that's going to be the lift and twist up to one side and put that box on a higher shelf. You can lift that back heel or you can stay steady and just reach. It's whatever you need. This will just get your heart rate up a little bit. Down and reach. You can stay at shoulder height as well. Lower, lift, and lift. Just four more. We'll go back to the normal squat. Last two. Last one, so we're back in this normal squat. We're going to add on an optional leg lift. So squat, leg lift slightly back behind your seat. 
down the middle, and then lift slightly back, alternating those legs. Again, this is just an option. You can also tap if you don't want to lift your leg all the way. So there's lots of options here. Or you can stay in that squat without lifting either leg. Down and lift. Lower, lift. Four more here. Three. Last two. Last one. We're going to put our hands on the tops of our thighs. We're going to widen our legs out just a little bit. We're going to breathe in and arch your back. This is a cat cow, but without being at all fours. And then exhale, round your back and scoop. Inhale, arch that back. Exhale, round that back. Two more like this. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. And then back to neutral, we're gonna do a twist. So we're pressing our knees away. We're gonna press into this knee, twist our shoulder and gaze over the opposite shoulder. Getting a nice twist. Back to center, pressing away with the opposite shoulder and gazing over your other shoulder. Back to center, we'll just do one more on each side. Back to center, press away and lift. So we're gonna walk ourselves to hip width, parallel feet, feet are facing forward. We're gonna do some arms, no weights needed. If you want, you can use water bottle or something around you, but we can do everything without weights. So the first thing we'll do, you can also do fists, you know, knuckle crunching or whatever. We're gonna reach our arms up and then lower them back down. So we're doing kind of some big arm movement to shoulder height, lower down with the palms facing up, lowering down. So we're kind of opening our arms, opening our hearts to something positive today. It's a Tuesday, but sometimes we don't know what day of the week it is at this point. So we're gonna just take all the good in that we can get, time with our family, time with our health that we have, and lowering down. A few more like this, we're gonna keep our arms up at that shoulder height. In three, lower down, in two. Last one, we're holding our arms up, we're gonna open up to a T. We're twisting our, our wrists back and forth. So we're kind of working our whole arm here, just facing our palm back, facing it up, getting a few twists. And then when you're ready, we'll keep our arms facing forward, our palms forward. We're just gonna press our palms forward. So it's kind of like flapping wings, like we're kind of trying to learn how to fly with our new wings, feeling a little bit like, maybe they're too big for my body. So we're flapping our wings here. And then we're gonna bring our elbows back behind and reach it out. So we're dragging our elbows behind our backs. So they kind of disappear. Trying to crack a nut with your shoulder blades. Pulling those elbows behind, reaching out. Dragging them in, reaching out. So you start feeling some warmth in your shoulders and hopefully some of the forearms too, just because you're keeping those arms engaged. So we're dragging in and resisting up, trying to make it feel like we're holding weights, even though we're not. It's reach and drag, reach and drag. Four more, we'll hold those elbows in. In two, last one we're holding in and we're just squeezing those elbows behind our back. So it kind of looks funny a little bit, but we're dragging our elbows just to reach behind, engaging our shoulders. Press, 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 and reach. Four, three, two. Now we're gonna turn our palms in so they're facing our shoulders. We have this kind of W look with our arms, or a V. We're taking our arms towards our shoulders and lowering down while the elbows stay by our sides and our shoulders stay down and relax. So this is kind of a side bicep curl. If you want, you can always close your fists and pretend you're holding weights. Lift and lower lift and reach. So you wanna really feel like you're holding weights. Drag those arms down and resist up and down. It's lift and lower, lift and reach. Four more, three, two. Last one, we're gonna bring our arms in front of us. So it looks like I'm about to box, but we're gonna keep this in this hammer curl position. So we're lowering down and dragging up towards our shoulders. So we're bringing our hands towards our shoulder, now in line with our legs. So we're in this parallel position, down and lift, lower and lift. Four more, three, 
two, last one. Now we're gonna take our arms up so our elbows are in line with our shoulders. We're gonna open like we're a big goal post and we're gonna squeeze our elbows together to close. So we're opening and we're squeezing to close, getting some chest work in here. You might feel a tug under your armpits. It's squeeze and release, close and open, close and open, squeeze, relax, in and out. Four more, we're gonna hold it in, three, in two. Now holding it in, just press up, keeping those shoulders down, but pressing your arms up in front of you. Lift from the shoulder height, you can go lower if it bothers you, but just tap up, tap up to the ceiling and lift. It's four, three, two, we're gonna open back up. We're gonna lower our hands to flat shoulder height and lift. So the trick here is to keep those shoulders down, which is really hard. Lower and lift, drop and lift. Four more like this, three more, last two, last one. I'm just gonna turn to the side. This is just to show you the position you have to turn, but we're gonna hinge. So we're bending a little bit the knees and we're hinging forward. But if your back is harming you, stay upright. We're gonna reach like we're gonna take a rope in front of us and drag it in. So we're reaching and doing a row. It's reach, pull those elbows back behind you. It's reach and pull, reach and drag. So we're getting some different arm movement here, working our lats, reach and drag. Four more, three, Last two, last one, we're gonna reach it back and kick it back for tricep kickbacks. So we're bending our elbows and then we're reaching up behind us, trying to feel our triceps burn. It's lift and bend, lift and bend, reach and reach, extend and bend, reach. Last four, we're gonna hold our arms back in three, in two, Reaching back, we're gonna draw circles with our arms. So we're kind of moving our arms up and around, up and around. So this will feel a burn eventually if you're not feeling already. Lift and around, lift and around. Four, three, two, and reverse. So it's down and around, down and around. So we, we hinge to give more space for the arms. So you just may not have as much room if you're upright. It's four, three, Two, keep it up, just tap the hands up. Tap the arms up, lift, and small lift and pulse. Lift it up, up, four, three, two, hold it up, squeeze those hands in. So we're flapping our hands towards each other, dragging them in, 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 burning out those triceps. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's stretch those arms because we just worked them. We're gonna take one arm across our body, relax the shoulder down, and squeeze out that stress. Relax that arm, breathe into it. <sighs> Inhale and exhale through that stretch. We're gonna open out wide, cross the other arm, relax the shoulder down. Inhale and exhale. We'll take our, our hands and interlace our fingers in front of us, press your palms away and scoop and round your body to flex out everything this direction. Inhale through that and exhale. And now we're gonna take our hands, interlace them behind our back and reach down, gentle back bend behind us, pulling our shoulders and everything down towards the ground for a nice stretch here. And then one more optional arm stretch. We're gonna do eagle arms. So we're gonna kind of wrap our one elbow underneath the other and then twist so your palms are touching. We're gonna press our palms up so the elbows are near shoulder height. And you should feel a really nice pull in your shoulders this way. I'm just turning so you can see different angles here. And then we'll unravel that and do the other side. So untwisting one arm wraps into the other and pressing those palms up for a really nice shoulder stretch. And release. So we got some leg work to do, some thighs, some glutes, and core, all in the next 15 minutes, plus some other stretching. So we'll keep going. Uh, we're going to start in a B position. So we're taking our heels together, and it's like we put a slice of pizza or pie right between our toes, about three, four inches apart. One option is to stay here with flat feet. Your range of motion will just be a little bit less. 
or squeeze those heels together and lift them up. So now you have more external rotation from hips to toes. So we have this kind of diamond shape here in our body. We're gonna lower down for two and lift for two. So this gets unstable. So you can either hands on hips here, you can do the prayer position, or if you're near a chair or couch or countertop, you can hold on with one hand on that. It's down and down, lift, lift. So we're working the inner thighs mostly, a little bit outer thighs and some glutes. As you zip your legs up like a zipper at the top, really squeeze your seat, feel the glute muscles working. Down and down, pulling up and squeeze. Lower, lower, lift and squeeze. Four more, lift and squeeze. Three, lift, lift. Two more, lift. Last one, we're gonna stay low. We're gonna flap our knees out like butterfly wings. So you're going like you're wrapping them around behind your seat, open and open, flapping those wings. A little bit better than we did when we flapped our arm wings, I think. It's open, open. Really squeeze on those heels together, getting into the boots. Squeeze and open. Four, three, two. Holding this so close, we're just gonna pulse down down, pulse it down. So we're pressing all 10 toes into the mat, squeezing our heels together, press down. If you're shaking in the legs or the glutes, that's good. I mean, your muscles are changing and your body is changing for the better. You're working hard, lower. Four, three, two, hold it low. Take a nice deep breath. Just one more layer, we're gonna drop an inch and lift. So we're lowering our seat up and down, just a tiny little inch. You barely notice anything is moving, but you feel it changing in your body. Down and lift. Just four more and lift. Three, two, hold it low, squeeze those heels together, lift them higher. Lower that seat, maybe lift your arms overhead. Four, three, two, and stretch forward, stretch out those legs. That was a really good, hopefully, workout all for the lower body. If you're near some water, I recommend you take a sip right now. I'm gonna grab one just to stay hydrated. All right. So we're gonna try some standing seat work so we don't have to get too much on the ground. And so first I'm gonna have you just keep your feet and legs close together and bend those knees. We're gonna hinge forward. We're gonna take our palms together, really press in those palms. Point these toes. So we're gonna take one foot, point the toes. We're gonna tap out, bring it in. So we stay low in this bent position to get into the glutes on both sides. You start probably feeling it more in the standing leg and the stabilizers, but we're also working through this leg, this moving leg. So we're keeping the shoulders relaxed and still engaging our core. It's tap and in, tap and in. Four more, we're gonna hold that leg out in three. In two, last one, we're gonna bend the knee. This is a balance challenge, so you may need to grab onto something or hold your hip. Flex your foot. We're gonna lower that knee and we're gonna lift it up. So this is kind of like a clam position. You can do this on the ground if you're feeling unsteady. You can get it all fours and do this with the knee lift. It's lift, drag in, lift, and lift. Four more, three, two. Last one, we're gonna take this leg behind us into a lunge, so I'm gonna turn. So we have our lunge position. This is the leg that was just moving. We're gonna drop the knee down and just lift the back knee up. It's down, down, lift, lift. So just this back knee's moving. This front leg, the front knee is over the ankle. So protect yourself from any harmful movement in those knees. It's lower and lift. Last four, lift. Last three and lift. Two more, lift. Last one. Now while we're holding this low, we have the option, this is really challenging, to lift this back leg. I'm gonna put my hand on the bar. Lift this back leg and just pulse this front leg down, it's down. You can stay with both legs down, pulsing both legs down and down. Down and down, just four, three, two, and release. Whew. 
All right, one more side. We can't have everybody walking topsy-turvy, so we will bend again a little bit. Press in your palms, point piece toes. We're gonna tap it out and in. It's reach and in. You can tap or you can glide, whatever you're feeling. It's out and in, drag out and in. So remember that slight bend in the standing knee to protect you from falling over and locking out. Tap out and in. Four more. Three, we'll hold it out. And two, last one. Now we're gonna do that balance. So we bent this leg and we flex the foot. We're dragging it in and out, in and open. So this is that clam position. Again, all fours is fine. If you don't wanna be standing, it's in and open. Working through our glutes. Four more. Three, two, Last one, again, we'll drop it back for our lunge. So I'm all squabbly all of a sudden. We're gonna lower that back knee and lift, lift. Lower that knee, lift. It's drop for two, lift and lift. Down, down, lift. Last four, and lift. Three, lift. Last two, up. Last one, lift. So now you have the option to pulse both legs up and down or lift this back leg. And we're just moving that front leg down. Getting that last burn in the glutes. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna do a quick glute stretch. So we're gonna take one leg, cross it so the ankle rests just over the top of that knee, flex this foot, and hinge forward. Getting a nice piriformis, a figure four stretch. Taking a nice breath in through your stretch, sending oxygen throughout your body. And then we will lift up and switch sides. So flexing this foot, crossing it over, and breathing in that stretch. And then when you're ready, we're gonna get into some core work. So if you can, we're gonna get on the mat and on the ground and be down here. But if you need to do something standing, just let me know. I can try to call out some options. What we will start with is on our back. So we're gonna lay on our back, feet are flat with the knees bent. This is just gonna be a very simple crunch. So we're taking our hands behind our neck. We're gonna be curling up chin to chest and lowering back down. So it's curl and release. So just bring in the chin and chest and exhale, inhale and release. So these are very simple curls, using that chin to curl towards the chest rather than just pushing up with your neck. Up and inhale, exhale, inhale. If you'd like to layer on, you can take your legs to tabletop so that the knees are not going too far um, past your hips in either direction. But this is just giving you a little bit more weight, a longer lever for your core. Curl up and release. Curl up and release. Four more, lower. Last three and release. Last two, lower. Last one. Lower those head, neck, and shoulders, but keep your legs in tabletop. We're going to take our arms out to a T. This will give you some stability. We're going to squeeze our legs together so they're one unit, like a mermaid tail. And we're going to drop to one side while keeping your arms and upper body facing up. And lifting up carefully with your core and breath. Drop to the other side. So these are like windshield wipers, if you want to call it something that might be familiar. You're just rolling those feet in one unit, feet and legs, from side to side, using the core and breath. So inhale down, exhale up. Inhale to the other side, exhale up. So you can use those arms to hold you in a stable position as you rock side to side. If you want to make it more challenging, you can straighten your legs and go at a more severe angle up and down, just getting deeper into your core. Lift and lower. Just a few more like this. One more set after this. 
And one more side. And now can you keep your legs straight or you can be bent if that's more comfortable. We're going to, now we separate our legs a little bit. We're going to reach and tap one top of our shin or near our ankle and then cross to the other side. So you can put your hand behind your neck as you do this to protect each side, or you can just keep your head, neck, and shoulders curled up as you reach side to side, tapping your leg or the top of your shin. Reach, reach, reach. And I'm pulling through the obliques here, working through our core. Four, three, two, one. Now keep those legs up. We're gonna take both arms to one side and just reach and kind of press. You can interlock your thumbs. Press to one side, curling up and up. Four, three, two, other side. So curling up, I'm in opposition here, just hitting the other side, pulse and curl, pulse and curl. Four, three, two, and release. So we're gonna take our knees into our chest and rock side to side. Breathing into that, have some good core work there. We're gonna get our uh, hands underneath our knees and roll up a few times, massaging our back along the way. And we'll get over into a seated position. So first, you just wanna open your palms and rest them on your knees. Relax the shoulders. Let's do a few shoulder rolls up and back up and back and then forward you really get a lot through our shoulders we're going to take our palm and press it over and lean up and over dragging your arm out for a nice side body stretch and you can angle your head up towards your arm if you'd like breathing into that and then kind of rotate through to the other side reaching up and over Breathing, curling your head up towards that arm if you'd like. And then we'll take our hands back here and kind of do some of those spinal rolls. So we'll kind of press our knees and roll forward and then do the opposite direction. So we're just getting a little bit of a free movement in our spine, a little bit of a stretch, rolling. And open. Let's do two more. One on each side. And open. And then rotate. And open. Now we're going to get into a low crouch position. So we're going to place our feet in front of us and curl up in a little ball. So we're bringing our chin towards our chest, palms to the ground. Really feel that stretch in the back of your legs, the calf and Achilles, as you lift those heels slightly off the ground. Inhale and exhale. Press into a forward fold. So we're hanging down like a little rag doll, head leaning towards the ground, rocking side to side, or you can pedal out your knees. Getting a little bit of stretch here. And then we're going to drag our hands up our legs as we stack our head over our shoulders, shoulders over our hips, hips over our feet. And we're going to take our arms and do figure eights like we're grabbing infinity here. Taking everything that we've created, all this positive energy in the room, and carrying it with us throughout our day. Just a few more like this, and then we'll close with some breaths. So when you're ready, we're going to take us a little bit wider, get a little bit more open. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling up. Maybe twist to one side, gaze over that shoulder one more time. Inhale, exhale to the other side. And last one, inhaling up, pressing your palms together and dragging them to your heart center. Thank you for joining me for a quick bar blast today and hope you are doing well. Thank you so much.